What's up everybody, Keon Karimi here, and today I'm going to be doing a review for Roots of Insanity. This review has been brought to you by KeenGamer.com, the best place to check out your news, reviews, articles, and so much more. Now, let's get to the review, shall we? Let's talk about the story of the game. Play as a doctor named Riley McCline who works at August Valentine Hospital. But unfortunately you have to work the night shift and you suffer from epilepsy attacks, which makes you think things may or may not be real. Oh no. Not again. Moving on to gameplay. Roots of Insanity is a first person action horror game which means you'll need to defend yourself against zombies and collect batteries for your camera so that you can see in dark areas. Combat is the main focus in this game because you'll be doing lots of it at all times and it is extremely frustrating because the game is unfair and especially annoying when fighting two people at once because it is very luck based than skill so you'll never know how each fight is going to happen. Not to mention that the enemies can look hilarious when fighting you. It looks like they're trying to give you a hug or it just doesn't look like an animation of a zombie trying to kill you. It just it looks hilarious how they how they try to fight you in a way. <laughs> Now let's talk about the graphics, which is the only redeeming quality about Roots of Insanity. Everything is very detailed and it almost felt similar to another popular horror game called Outlast. But even then, you'll be seeing the same rough, broken down interior that is this hospital over and over again with occasionally going outside for a couple of minutes until you have to go back inside again. The game ran smoothly for the most part and I was able to run it at a decent graphics. There were no glitches really or anything that bothered me, it did really feel like a finished game. Last but not least, I want to talk about the sound. Specifically talking about the voice acting which, to my surprise, was entertaining at times, but ultimately fell flat because of our boring protagonist that is Riley McCline. It's alright, I'm here. Let me help you. No. I can't be real. I'm warning you, stay back! In conclusion, Roots of Insanity is a boring action horror game that does nothing unique to change the horror formula at all. It has a boring protagonist, boring story, a trustless combat that can be really unfair, and it was a complete waste of time. My name is Kian Karimi, and I'm here at KeenGamer.com, the best place to check out your news, reviews, articles, and so much more. And I'll see you guys next time.